Praise the Lord, my sisters and brothers. I'm your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice. And this is the prayer connection where we make a connection with God. Yes, this is now the prayer connection where we make a connection with heaven. Now, this show is designed to build you up, to strengthen you, and to encourage you to go into another level in your prayer life. Yes, it's designed by God to catapult you and to launch you forward <laughs> into another level in your prayer life. And we know that it's all done by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father God, we bless you today. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Father God, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be thanked, God. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy, Lord. Saints, we serve a worthy God. He's worthy of all the praises. He's worthy of all the honor. He's worthy of all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, you are highly to be praised. You are highly to be exalted. You are highly Highly to be extolled. Oh God, you are highly to be honored, Lord. We love you today. Father God, if we had a thousand tongues, we couldn't praise you enough. If we had a thousand tongues, we couldn't glorify you enough. If we had a thousand tongues, if we had a thousand tongues, if we had a thousand tongues, we couldn't worship you enough. Because you are God all by yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus, heaven and earth is bows down even hell bows down everything that living and breathing bows down to the name of jesus the plants bow down to the name of jesus the flowers bow down to the name of jesus the hills and the mountains they bow down to the name of jesus christ oh god they have to because there's only there's only one name given among men whereby we must be saved everything gotta bow down to the name of jesus jesus christ is a lord in Jesus name we might be in a pandemic but the pandemic gotta bow down to the name of Jesus the Delta variant it gotta bow down to the name of Jesus Omicron bows down to the name of Jesus we serve a God that's omnipotent omnipresent and omniscient, he's omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent, and omnicron bows down to the omnipotent one. Omicron bow down to the omniscient one. Omicron, omicron, he gotta bow down to the all knowing, omnipotent, all powerful God in the name of Jesus. God, we give you praise. Oh, God, we protected in a pandemic. Hallelujah, we protected in a pandemic. We dwelled in the secret place of the Most High God. We abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You're protected today in the pandemic. God got you protected in the pandemic. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. He's a mighty God. He's a healer today too. Somebody said, well, I know someone that got the virus, but he says, oh, that's all right. He still, he still had the protection on them because they're not going to die, but they're going to live and declare the works of the Lord. And by Jesus Christ, they're healed today. God is good to us. He's a good God. And we bless you. We praise you, oh God. We glorify your name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul and all that's within us. Let us bless his holy name. Praise you the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him all oh, with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and heart. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Let everything that got breath. Praise the Lord. Praise you the Lord. God will keep you alive if you give him some praise. Father God, as long as you keep keep us in the earth realm, you'll find somebody that will worship you. Father God, if you keep us and extend our lives, you'll find somebody that will bless your holy name. If you keep us in the earth realm, God, we'll pray for others. We'll be intercessors. We'll pray and we'll be a blessing to, to others. Father God, you got a reason to keep us in the earth realm. You got a reason to keep us on top of the earth and not under the earth. You got a reason, God, on this channel. The people that come to this channel are intercessors or they wouldn't even watch this show, Father God. 
So, Father God, I pray for every intercessor, as long as they keep the prayer in their mouth, as long as they keep worship in their mouth, as long as they keep praise in their mouth, as long as they keep thanksgiving in their mouth, as long as they keep on praying, God got a reason to keep you alive. He'll keep you alive through every pandemic that might come upon the face of the earth. God will keep you through every plague that might hit the earth realm because we are in the last days and there are many plagues that will come, many pestilence that will arise. But if you keep your praise, keep, keep, keep your praise of God in your mouth and keep prayer in your mouth, God got a good reason to keep you alive and your household. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is good to us. He's good to us. God is good. No matter what, God is good to us. No matter what the trial, God is still good to you. No matter what the tribulation, he's still good to you. No matter what the problem, no matter what the, pe the, matter what the pre predicament, he's still good to you. No matter what the situation or the circumstance, God is still good to you. Because you're still in the land of the living. If you listen to me right now, that means you're still in the land of the living. And you are overcoming today. You've overcome all of the tricks of the plans and the schemes and the wiles of the, of the wicked one. You're still here. You're still here. And if you're still here, give him some praise. Hallelujah. Because we serve a worthy God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. But God is here to tell you some good news. You turn on channel 3. You turn on channel 5, 8, Fox News, N NBC, MSNBC, uh, CNN. You hear a lot of bad news. But on this channel, on this broadcast, on this podcast, God always have good news. And the good news for today is this. We are pre approaching at the end of the year. We are approaching a new year, 2022. And God is here to tell us and to warn us. God is here to talk to us and to warn us that 2020, 2022, the world will get darker and darker and darker and darker, but the church will get lighter and lighter and brighter and brighter. That's what God is saying. That what God is saying. The Bible says in the mighty name of Jesus in Matthew 5 14, he says, You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. A seed that is set upon a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but they put it on a candlestick that it gives light to all that are in the house. God says, let your light so shine before men. They will see your good works. And you will glorify your father, which is in heaven. Yes, the world will get darker and darker. But the church will get lighter and lighter. That's in Matthew 5, 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set upon a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but they put it on a candlestick that they give my give light to all that are in the house. God says, Isaiah 60, arise and shine, arise and shine, arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. He said darkness will cover the earth. Darkness will cover the earth. Darkness will cover the earth. Darkness will cover the earth, cover the earth. Cover the earth and gross darkness to people. <clears throat> But the Lord shall be seen upon you and his glory shall be revealed upon you. And Gentiles will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. He says it's going to get darker and darker in the world, saints. 
But the church is going to be brighter and brighter. In the name of Jesus. Which leads us to the, to the main topic of this broadcast. God says there's always going to be light in Goshen. There's always light in Goshen. It's always light in Goshen. What is Goshen anyway? Goshen. First of all, let us understand that Israel, God's chosen people, they were slaves in Egypt. Israel, God's chosen people, were slaves in Egypt. And Pharaoh, the slave driver, had given to Israel the Egyptian territory of Goshen to dwell in. Pharaoh gave the children of God, Israel, the city of Goshen. It was a territory in Egypt set aside called Goshen. Here's Egypt, and it's a territory set aside for the slaves, set aside for Israel. The name of that place was called Goshen. God's people were spared much of the sufferings from the various plagues. This was the time and the season when God was commanding Pharaoh, let my people go so they can serve me. Pharaoh will harden his heart. He hardened his heart. God was in the plague after plague after plague after plague, plague after plague, and he hardened his heart. But no matter what plague hit Egypt, the children of Israel in Goshen were spared. It was a swarm of flies. It was a swarm of flies. Swarm of fly. I mean, it was a swarm. It was someone. The, the, the swarm was so deep that they walked on it like carpet. But it was no swarm of flies in Goshen. They were spared from the plague. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Exodus chapter 9, I mean, there was hell, a supernatural hailstorm in Egypt. It, it was destroying man, woman, beast, child. The beasts, the, the, the animals, the vegetation, they were destroying everything in Egypt. Hailstorm like it's never seen before. Never seen before. But in Goshen, where the church of Israel dwelled, no hailstorm. Just for an example. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the major plague that hit Egypt, the firstborn of every Egyptian died. God said they're going to die, the firstborn. But as long as the children of Israel stayed in Goshen and stayed in their homes and plead the blood of Jesus on the doorpost and the, the side post, that death angel passed over, the destroyer passed over. And the firstborn of Israel didn't die. They were spared. Because there's always going to be light in Goshen. They had immunity. In the name of Jesus. So Father God, we give you praise. It always going to be light in Goshen. We, we are living in the spiritual Goshen. Even though the world gets darker and darker, the ch this church is going to get brighter and brighter. And, the, and speaking of darkness and darkness, the plague of Egypt, it was a plague that hit Egypt. Three days was that plague. It was pitch black darkness. It said the darkness... You can feel the darkness. Let's read that in the name of Jesus. It says, he told Moses, stretch toward heaven that there may, may be darkness over the land of Egypt. God told Moses, he said, stretch out your hand toward heaven that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt. Even the darkness that can be felt. And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven and there was a thick darkness there was a thick darkness. There was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt. Three days. They saw not one another. Neither rose any man from his place for, for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. There's always going to be light in your dwelling. Because there's always light in Goshen. The world gets darker and darker. As we approach 2020, you're going to see the headlines. It's getting darker and darker, but the church is going to get lighter and lighter. There might be even a famine on the land, and I, we see it coming. It's a famine on the land, but the Bible says in Job 5, 22, that at destruction and famine, we will laugh. Because it's always going to be provision in Goshen. It's always going to be provision in the Father's house. 
always provision in the kingdom of God. And what's going to happen is so many devastations going to happen. And the dark is going to be so dark and the church is going to shine so bright. God is making a distinction. There's going to be a marked distinction and division between what is right and what is wrong. It's going to be a severing. He's going to see severing things. He's making a demarcation for and making a difference and a distinction from what is right and what is wrong. There's a division, a separation between the clean and the unclean. He's making a difference between the righteous and the unrighteous. There's a difference, a demarcation now between the holy and the unholy. He's making a marked difference between light and the darkness. He's making a marked difference between the believer and the non-believer. He's making a marked difference, a division line between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the Satan. There's a difference. He's making a marked difference between who serves God. And who serves them not. You're going to see the difference. Right now sometimes there's a blur. You can't really see. But it's going to come a time. And I believe by faith in Jesus name in 2022. You're going to see a marked difference. You're going to know who's a Christian. You won't have to wear a t-shirt saying you a Christian. Or a bumper sticker saying you a Christian. They're going to know. He said that the kings will come to your life. The world going to come to us. They're going to come to us. The Bible says in Isaiah 60. He said that the Gentiles will come to your light. Gentiles mean the world system. The Gentiles will come to your light. Kings to the brightness of your rising. They're going to come to us. They're going to seek us out. We won't have to chase them down with a trap. Please come to Jesus. Don't you want to get saved? Begging to plead, pleading with them. Bribe them. You come to Jesus, God going to make you a millionaire. We ain't got the lie, prophet lie, promise them a whole bunch of stuff. They're going to come to us because we're going to have it all. It's like the haves and have nots. The kingdom of God, God's people are going to be the haves. And they're going to be the have nots. If you want any kind of provision, you're going to have to be a Christian. It's times are coming like that. We in the last days, perilous times have come. It's going to be a difference. It's going to be profitable to be a Christian. You know, right now they laugh at us. All them stupid Christians, they just, all they do is go to church, run around the church, shout, jump and, jump and shout, get their money to the preacher. You know how they talk about to mock the kingdom? But it's going to come a time that it's going to be profitable to be a, to be a Christian. Because we're going to have, and they're going to have not. We got the provision, and they're in the famine. We got the light, and they got the darkness. We got joy and they in devastation and depression, manic depression. We got peace and they on Prozac. We got our storehouses full and they begging and pleaded. There's a marked difference. He's going to make a difference. We know that in the, in the last of the last of the last days, he's going to separate the goat from the sheep and the wheat from the tear. But before that time comes, it's already going to be a division. You're going to see who serves God. And who serves him not. In the mighty name of Jesus. There's always going to be light in Goshen. There's always going to be provision in your house child of God. He's going to prepare you a table in the presence of your enemies. They have to watch you eat. I was young and now I'm old. And I never would see the righteous forsaken. Neither seed begging bread. Your storehouse will be full. Your bank account will be full. Your everything, your pantry will be full. Your savings account will be full. Your checkers account will be full. You will have you be full of need of nothing. We we will be the halves, the Christian. He make a marked difference between the righteous and the unrighteous, to the clean and the unclean, between the holy and unholy. For him who serves God and him who serves him not. The world going to get darker and darker. But the church get brighter and brighter. Arise and shine for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Arise and shine for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Darkness will cover the earth. 20, 
22. Darkness, Isaiah 60, verse 1 through 3. Darkness will cover the earth. Darkness will cover the earth. And gross darkness, the people. But the Lord will arise upon you. And his glory will be seen upon you. And the Gentiles, the world, will come to your light. And kings, those in authority, will come to the brightness of your rising. You are the light of the world. A city that is set upon a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. But on a candlestick. That it give, might give light to all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men. They will see your good works. And you'll glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Father God, we give you praise. We thank you, Lord God, for the coming days. God, dev devastation is coming, God. But we won't be devastated. We'll laugh in the face of famine. We'll laugh in the face of destruction. We'll laugh in the face of devastation because the kingdom of God, the people of God will be kept in the midst. In the mighty name of Jesus. God says it's even going to be an economic collapse. We already see it happening. It's going to be an economic collapse, but those that have been tithing and giving and those that are children of the Most High God will be kept from the economic coll collapse. He said the wealth of the sinner is later for the just the wealth of the sinner is later for the just or the wealth of the sinner will eventually find his way in the hand of the righteous. Let me say it again. The wealth of the sinner will eventually wind up in the hand of the righteous because they have misused God's money. It's God's money. God said the silver is mine and the gold is mine. All silver is God's and all gold is God's. All of it. With what we got as Christians and what the unbeliever got. That's God's money they got. That's, he said all the silver is mine. All the gold is mine. They got, that's God's money they got. They have misused it, been dishonest. They robbed God. And God said, I'm going to take it. I'm going to snatch it out of your hand and give it to the righteous. I'm going to give it to the ones that know what to do with it. That's going to tithe. They're going to give, give to God. That's going to bless God's kingdom and do right by those finances. The wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. The wealth of the sinner will eventually, eventually find his way into the hand of the righteous. Because we're good stewards. We'll do right by God, God's silver and gold. Because remember, all the silver and all the gold is God's. For the believer and the non-believer, all of it is his. Because the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. And they that dwell therein, everything's God's. We're just stewards. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we give you praise. It's always going to be light in Goshen. It's always going to be light in the king in, in, the, in the house of the Lord. All is well in the Father's house. I'm here to tell you today. All is well. All is well. All is well. In the Father's house. You're in the Father's house. You're in the kingdom of God. You a child of the Most High God. You dwell in the spirit of God. All is well in the Father's house. All is well. Father God, we give you praise for that. That all is well, all is well in the Father's house. In the mighty name of Jesus. There are always going to be light in Goshen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Darkness will cover the earth and gross darkness of people. But the Lord shall arise upon us and his glory shall be seen upon us. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that we are the light of the world. A city that is set upon a hill cannot be hid. Neither, neither do men put a light of candle and put it under a bushel, but they put it under on a candlestick that it would give light unto all that are in the house. Father God, we will let our light so shine before men that they will see our good works and we will glorify you in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, I thank you. 
I thank you, Lord God, it's coming a season of time that it will be profitable to be a Christian. It will be profitable to be a Christian. It's like the haves and the have-nots. We're going to have, they're going to have not. Because I've never seen the righteous forsaken, neither his seed begging bread. He said, I withhold no good thing for those who walk uprightly. I will withhold no good thing for those who rightly. The blessing of the Lord is going to run you over and overtake you you the blessing of the Lord is going to run you over and overtake you. You're living under an open heaven. He's pouring out blessings that you have not room enough to receive. He's rebuking the devour for your sake. You living under an open heaven. You and your household living under an open heaven. He's pouring out the blessing. The blessing of the Lord. He's pouring it out. The blessing of the Lord has been poured out upon your family members. Upon your loved ones. Upon your children. Upon your household. It's going to run you over and overtake you. Because there's always provision in the Father's house. There's always blessings in the Father's house. There's always abundance in the Father's house. In the name of Jesus. At famine and destruction, you will laugh. It will not touch you. I hear God saying, touch not my children and do my children no harm. In the name of, we have divine immunity. He's going to keep us in Goshen. As long as keep, keep prayer in your mouth, keep praise in your mouth, keep worship in your mouth. So God got a reason to keep you alive. As long as you are about purpose, as long as you about the things of God, the word of God, the, 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 the destiny of God, he got a reason to keep you alive. He going to keep me alive. I'm going to keep prayer in my mouth. He going to keep me alive. And I'm going to keep worship in my mouth. He going to keep me alive. I'm going to keep prayer and intercession in my mouth. And he'll do the same thing for you. He'll do the same thing for you in the mighty name of Jesus. There's always light in Goshen and all is well in the Father's house. Now, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you're on the wrong side. <laughs> Remember, the world going to get darker and darker. Don't get caught up in the darkness. Don't get trapped in the darkness. If you want to be saved today, if you want to come out of that devastation, because it's coming. If you, It's coming. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Perilous times has come. It has come and it will come. You need to be on the winning side. You need to be in the kingdom of light. There's always light in Goshen. But where you're headed is complete devastation and hell. Come on. I know you're ready. Don't be afraid, but come to Jesus. Now, while you have a chance, let me lead you in a simple prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm a sinner and need of a savior. I come to you. You say, whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call upon his name right now. Say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Call upon his name. Bible says, whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. God says you will be saved. With your heart, you believe. And your mouth, you confess. Now, if you call upon the name of the Lord today, God says right now, you've been translated out of the kingdom of darkness into the marvelous light. You are a child of God. You're part of the kingdom of God and the kingdom of light. So when the world gets darker and darker, don't worry. No fear, you and your house and your, and your your kingdom, which is God's kingdom, will get brighter and brighter. And there's always going to be light in Goshen. And there's always going to be provision in the Father's house. Because all is well in the Father's house. Okay, saints, I'll see you next time on the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with God. I'll see you next time. On the prayer connection where you make a connection with heaven. I love you. And remember 2020, 20, 20, 2022 is going to be great because the light has come. Bye-bye.